So we're at Rantanen's Ranch. Super excited here in Temecula to learn all about community broadband and specifically 2.5 gigahertz and building networks for indigenous communities in that frequency. My name is Matthew Rantanen and I am hosting the Tribal Wireless Bootcamp in Southern California at Rantanen Town Ranch. The whole point for the Tribal Wireless Bootcamp was to start a process where we get tribes to come together and be able to share experiences uh, with trained professionals. And I think we came out with a now network of people that will rely on each other forever. There's still a lot of knowledge that I need to gain on my end in order to create an independence for the tribe. So I'm here to kind of get at least the foundation set so that I can continue on this uh, wireless journey. We're all kind of starting out maybe at different levels, but we're all starting out essentially, and so we can help each other grow. Many of these tribes that were here today had a 2.5 gigahertz tribal priority license assigned to them. 2.5 operates in, in an LTE space, and it's a, um, you know, it's a little bit different for folks, so it was really good to get hands-on equipment. They also went home with equipment that would satisfy their two-year license requirement, so that was kind of cool. I think everybody is taking something home that will allow them to fulfill a requirement of that license that they applied for. So that's a real benefit. A big goal of the, uh, the whole boot camp process is we're not just talking about this stuff, we're actually getting out and doing it. We're getting our hands on. And so we're creating a wireless point-to-point -point link from Matt's house here at the top of the hill down to his zombie bunker, you know, uh, um, the storage container units that he has. That involves you've got to get these two little point-to-point -point radios that we've been working with. And then once you've got both antennas you know, powered on and kind of looking at each other, you really have to fine tune the link. So you're looking at the signal strength. It's kind of like you have people on both ends and someone's adjusting their side a little bit and, okay, this is perfect, over to you. Once you get your hands on something, it becomes way less, uh, you know, unfamiliar. We're trying to demystify this process. And then I think another really big key goal is building this network, building these people that, not the physical network, the, the people. Throughout this entire weekend, people are just chiming in tips and tricks and, you get to know each other on a first name basis. So I think those are the main key goals for this weekend and I think we're really doing great. I think it's really important for the tribe to manage our own resources and have that opportunity because no one is going to provide for our community and care as much as we are because we're serving our own family members, we're serving our own tribal businesses, we're helping out the educational systems and the departments and entities that have been lacking in that service. I think it's a really critical time for tribal nations not only getting the 2.5 licenses but having opportunities for funding to build out themselves. I would offer advice like not to be scared to do that. You can achieve that, you know, bring in your own people and your own resources, train from the ground up, utilize uh, networks and connections that you have, and you do have the ability to provide service for your own people. So we really are just grateful that um, ISOC was so supportive um, in this process. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that we're excited about having happen in Indian country and indigenous communities. We're seeing situations right now where federal government didn't even believe that opening a tribal priority window would result in a, a large effort to get licenses. Um, they actually said there would be 12. You know, we're looking at 400 licenses about to be finalized and approved. So now what does that mean in five years? Are 400 tribes gonna be down the road of broadband? I think so potentially even more.